Hi guys, what's up? It's Nicole. Welcome back to the YouTube channel. And if you're new here, welcome to the channel. Happy to have you here. Now, I want to talk to you guys about what happened over the past couple of days. So I have been sort of designing mock-ups of some merch that I might release, okay? I'm gonna pop a picture of the merch up here on the screen. And you guys tell me in the comments, and be honest with me, if you would buy the merch. Now, I have a Shopify account all set up. I set these uh, t-shirts, and I'm kind of debating on if I want to get, like, a couple shirts to send out to people. I don't know. Also, something wild happened, so I was just sort of BSing this. I just want to say, like, dreams come true sometimes and I don't have a lot of followers on YouTube like I'm a very small influencer and I did not think that I was going to get a response but I emailed Pepsi Cola y'all <laughs> you guys know ever since I started standing the starting yellow triplets my taste changed and I was a coke girl for years. I loved Coke. I drank her all the time. I got a Pepsi because I know that Chris Nernale loves Pepsi. So I gave her another shot. I was like, okay, let me try Pepsi again. And I, I, I don't know what I would do without it. Like I own a whole 12 pack of Pepsi Zero right now on my window seal. I'm actually getting low. But I was just doing a whim. Literally had absolutely zero chances because you do know how big Pepsi Cola is. They're a big corporation, they make tons of I went on their website yesterday and I sent them like a nice little, hey, I'm a small influencer, I love your products, you know, I own Pepsi, I drink it all the time. Thank you so much, like have a great day. Can I get on your PR list? Like sometimes as a small influencer, you just kind of put yourself out there and ask the tough questions and most companies don't mind free advertising if they want to pay you they can so i just want to read you guys and i'm just shooketh to the core <laughs> so i was driving home from school today and at 2 57 p.m i got a freaking response pepsi cola responded to my email they said Hi, Nicole. Thank you so much for sharing such nice feedback. It's always a pleasure to hear from our consumers, especially when you tell us how much you enjoy our products. I've added your name to our list of consumers who would like to be contacted with future PepsiCo offers. Mic drop. I've added your name if I get PR from Pepsi Cola, I'm passing away. <laughs> I sound so dramatic, but if y'all know, I have been drinking this drink and I know it's very bad for you. I understand that. But if this does not tell, I didn't think they checked those contact us things. Do they get back to everyone? Or was I just lucky? I, I, I was going to DM them on Instagram because I follow them on Instagram and be like, yo, can I get on your PR list? Because, like, as a YouTuber, I want to get myself out there and, like, show these brands that I'm a cool person. And it's free advertising for me because they look at your stuff and they're like, oh, this person's cool. I'm not doing it for money, whatever, but it's a jump start for me as a small creator to, like, you know, I would never, ever give you guys products that I don't believe in. And nobody's paying me to say this, like... I literally had to text one of my stirring yellow triplet friends and I was like, Pepsi Cola responded to my email. What is going on? Is the universe on my side? What is happening right now? So I will keep you guys updated to see what's happening. I don't know. They, it's probably all in my head. I'm probably a clown. Go ahead and say it in the comments. Nicole's a clown. She doesn't know what she's talking about. I got a Hello, howdy, y'all. It's Nicole. Um, I'm editing the video you're currently watching. Yes, I'm wearing the same top. 
please don't judge me. I wanted to pop in here and give you guys an update on Pepsi Cola. They responded to me on Instagram. So apparently they posted some of their Super Bowl content, their commercials. And you guys know I love Pepsi Zero Sugar. I said, oh, how did you know I love Pepsi Zero Sugar? Oh my gosh, I see you. They responded with three eyeball emojis. Three eyeball emojis, y'all. I'm shooketh. Pepsi and I are besties. That's it. That's It's official, okay? <laughs> anyway, thank you guys for supporting me and loving me and watching my videos. I know I'm a crazy person, but if Pepsi Cola and I are besties, you guys know what that means. But anyway, I'm going to go. Just wanted to give y'all a quick update. So yeah, enjoy the rest of the video. I'll see you in the outro. Comment on my last, no, not my last video. My Staniolo triplet video that I made a couple months ago about when I got hate for being an older fan. I don't remember what the comment said because I reported the comment, but they were so rude to me. If you're gonna comment rude things on my YouTube channel, you're going to get reported. I don't care. You're just some random person on online with your two subscribers, okay? I don't give a flying crap about a hater. It doesn't affect me. I'm too old for that. I'm 27. Get a fucking life. Excuse my language. I'm so sorry. I usually don't curse on this channel, but that kind of stuff just gets me going. If you have nothing nice to say, don't say it at all. If you don't like me, why are you watching my content? Get off my channel, please, and thank you. Watch somebody else. Like, stop. And I understand it's part of being an influencer and being online. No. There's a way to treat a human being, and that is not it. So anyway, think twice before you type something. Because, you know, it doesn't ruin my day. I just laugh in your face. I don't care. I have my amazing subscribers who comment wonderful things. Love always overpowers hate. Just saying. But I just thought I would share that fabulous email from Pepsi Cola. Y'all, I was literally about to die. Oh my gosh, I, I swear to my soul, if I get doing an unboxing on this channel, and I'm going to literally cry <laughs> because it has been a complete dream of mine to work with Pepsi Cola since I started being on mine to work with Ace, the, one of the biggest soda companies in the world. Like, oh my gosh, and one of the biggest brands out there too. Like, I can't. Also, tomorrow I'm seeing the Yet to Come in Busan concerts at the Disney Springs Theater at 5 p.m. I'm so excited. Uh, I will give you guys a review on the movie. Of course, you know I watched the live stream when it came out back in October of 2022. Oh my gosh, that was great. I think I uh, talked about it on the podcast as well. Anyway, I'm going to stop talking now because I've been speaking for almost eight minutes. I might uh, edit this video and put it up this week just to get it out there for y'all so you can watch it in the glory and fangirl with me about Pepsi Cola. Like, oh my gosh. <sighs> I can't. I literally cannot breathe. Wow. Anyway, I will see you all tomorrow at the Yet to Come Theater. If you're there, let a girl know. Of course, this video is going to be coming out after the movie is over, but I love you all. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, hi. How you doing? It's Nicole. Nice to see you. Subscribe to the channel. Put on them post notifications and so you won't miss a video. I have a lot of content coming, especially with the Eros Tour. You don't want to miss it. Seriously, they're going to be some crazy content. I'm going to be taking you guys through the journey of what I'm going to be wearing. The process of trial and error because I still don't know what I'm wearing to the Aero store. Jeez, I need to figure that out. <laughs> anyway, thank you all so much for watching. And I will see your beautiful faces in the next video. Bye.